Good morning. What is up? Welcome to Fishing in a Hurricane, brought to you by Austin Fowler Lake Fork Guide. He's back again, bun. folks. He's got the honey bun. He's got the Dr. Pepper, and he ordered up extra air conditioning today. <laughs> it's in the uh, 60s, and it's supposed to not really get much higher. It's supposed to just kind of drop. And I think the wind's going to do this most of the day. That's that's northwest. In case you're wondering, that's northwest. And it is coming right down that pipe, ain't it? Well, yeah, you know how we always been, you know, begging for a cold front to come. Well, we got it. I think it came. We may have been off where we could chew. <laughs> well, this is Lake Hallbrook. This is the lake close to Fork. We've been on Fork for a couple weeks, so we give you guys something different to look at every once in a while on this channel. And that's what we're doing today. Good buddy Austin's here. Last time he was here, it was hot. We were catching deep fish on shaky heads, and some grass fish on swim baits. And uh, this ought to be a completely different deal. Different we are going to throw the kitchen sink at them today because, as you can tell, there's a lot going on weather-wise, and they could be doing literally anything. So y'all stay tuned because we're about to go figure them out, do a little fall bass fishing on Lake Hallbrook. Hurricane fall bass fishing. Hurricane fall bass fishing on Lake Hallbrook right now. Out of the way. <laughs> oh, you almost got right over yeah, me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Boy, that's a bunch of grass in there. I don't think it's much bass, but that's a bunch of grass. Oh. They're fishing there. <laughs> see his little tail down there? I see it. That is an awful lot. An awful lot of grass. That I'm making a complete mess out of my boat with for not much bass right there, huh? Hey, but you know what that is? No, that is uh, number one. What that is? There's number one. Hey, look how clear this water is right here. Those are dinks, so I'll call me dink fest. Yeah, you get up on that wacky one <laughs> dink fest, won't you? Hey, man, I'll tell you what. The old wacky, wacky worm never fails there, Fowler. You know it? Or cast. That wacky worm's a good bait, Bubba. That's bigger than that frogfish I caught. I mean, they ain't saying much, but <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> Alrighty, wacky worm. Fish number two, Fowler's getting his butt kicked. What else is new? Look at that. <laughs> we're busting out rhymes this morning, bro. Hey, last time you caught the biggest fish, I caught the most, so this time we'll go biggest and you go most. Okay, I can do that. Right. I, I can work with that. As long as you catch a really big one. Hey, I, wacky. I, I only catch eight pounders. All he does is eight pounders. I like it. Say goodbye to that little little bass right there. So, oh, look at it. Boy, you got some. Hitching, he had a little hitching to get up there, didn't he? Hey, I will tell you guys one thing. Give you guys a little, well, you know, shameless sponsor plug here. This is my brand new. I mean, brand new. That was the first cast with it right there, by the way. Brand new Limit Elite Series Wacky Worm Rod. This is a seven foot medium, but this Joker's got a lot of backbone for medium, doesn't it, Austin? Look yeah. at it. I mean, it's it's thick for medium down on the bottom end. Is that thing light? Pretty light. It's ridiculously light, ridiculously sensitive. I am, before I even threw this rod, it's just one of the ones you put in your hand and it feels amazing. So I cannot wait to catch about 150 wacky worm fish with this this fall because 
if you have not tried a Limit Elite Series rod, you need to at least go put one in your hands because there's something special. <laughs> you think that way going right ain't got a little torque to it? <laughs> I'm wondering you said the hook. Well, I went to pick up and it was moving, so I, I, I was trying to Well, I was trying to make sure that wasn't gonna decapitate you or anything. Well, catch me in my rod. Now you're forecasting in with a wacky one on two fish. Big city. Monster bass! Okay. Well, that's pretty good, I think. Well, that thing about to burn a bear out of my ribs, something heavy like that. Get up here, you little turd. Pretty little fish out there, wolf. Look how dark he is, huh? It's because I'm always around grass. Uh -oh. <laughs> Funny how that works, isn't it? Oh, that's a treble hook in the finger. Okay. <laughs> I've never seen that. <laughs> Woo! That's a pro rattle release right there, boys and girls. We ain't catching no big ones, but I'm having fun. Austin's probably bored to tears. He is getting his butt whipped today, y'all. Getting front boated. I was literally behind you on that one. Or well, powerful. <laughs> thinking of every excuse. That's boat. right, that's right. I hear you, buddy. So we got four fish in the boat so far. We got one on a frog, we got two on a wacky worm, and we got one on a little quarter ounce gold chrome trap. You know how many I got? Uh, you got zero on I'm nada. O, I'm 0 for two. That's right. Oh, yeah, you had the blow, yeah. I had that blow up on the top of it. That's right, you missed it early this morning. That, my friends, is a 100% purebred Kentucky spotted bass right there, boys and girls. I believe this is our first spotted bass, pure spotted bass, that's ever been on this channel. Yep. We catch, we, we, once upon a time, we used to catch big fish on this channel. Yeah. And we got bored of that, so we started catching all these little fish. And now we've gotten so bored of that that we've gone to Kentucky Spotted Bass. That is a, that's a pure, like you can even see his tooth patch on his tongue. It's so obvious. This guy, he's got these kind of these little broken bars right here. Very bright colors, beautiful fish. But the big kicker that's going to give it away is two things. One is that tooth that uh, right there in the middle of his tongue, you see that dark patch? If you touch that, that's a rough rough patch right there. I hope you can see that on camera okay. That's a little rough patch. That's a little tooth patch right there. Let's give him a drink. So if you see right there, my finger my finger is right pointing at the back of his jaw. When their mouth is closed the back of the jawbone will not extend past the back of the eye socket. On a large mouth the jawbone will be back here on the fold. So there you go. Two different ways to identify spotted bass. That's 100% pure strain spotted bass right there. Beautiful little specimen. And, uh, hey, what's that PBS thing? The more you know, right? <laughs> the more you know with a little rainbow star. There, there you go, guys. First ever spotted bass on the Lake Fort Guide, your Lake Fort Guide channel. Yes, yeah, that's the other part, too, guys. We've been going along and struggling. We've done tried out deep. We've tried flipping these cattails. Uh, we tried a couple different things in between. I mean, we are really struggling today. This front has, has blown all the way through. As you can see now, a few wispy clouds left, but the front has blown through. The wind has changed from northwest to northeast and calmed down significantly. Uh, we got bluebird skies, more or less, and, and, and not great conditions, especially after the first big front of the year where there's gonna be a, a major high pressure system sitting over us. So basically what I'm telling you is we have every excuse known to man to not catch a bass. We have them all going right now, don't we Austin? 
Yeah. We got them all lined up. We, we got a bunch of – we have no shortage of excuses today. But, hey, we're still catching a few fish. We've got five fish in the boat now. Um, hopefully we can get one. Hey, it's team effort today, baby. Team effort today. Uh, I'm the guy today. Yeah, he's gotten me. That's right. <laughs> hopefully, though, we can get one or two more that are uh, – a little bit bigger than some of these ones we've been catching, than all of these ones we've been catching so far. This lake's got some good solid fish in it, uh, but we have not shown what it holds just yet. Finally. Oh. Lose him? Was he any big? Dude, he was a big one. I think that creek, he should be. Dude. Lose a big I, one? I felt him before I could turn. He wasn't down in the tree, he just couldn't turn. Hey, What's gonna be funny is when I hand line this five pounder in here in a minute. Woo! I'm about to lasso a bass fish. What y'all know about that? bass right there. Woo boy look at that. He's a monster too folks. <laughs> this last on the bass I can't, bro. Catch, I can't get the damn bass on the rod. Alright so 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 y'all know what happened. I had one of those professional overruns when you try to throw that wacky worm into the wind and my line tied a knot around itself and it ended up breaking in the middle of the rod. So out of frustration I just threw my rod down Hand line in the wacky worm, I started trying to lasso a bass. I was literally twirling it, throwing it out there as y'all saw. And look, I lasso the bass, did I not? Hey, look, here's the deal, America. I'm the greatest there is. I, just, I wake up in the morning and I pick that. Look there, I found You can't even believe that, can you? <laughs> there you go, folks. Your Lake Fork Guy channel. The only place in the world where you can see a bass get lassoed. Good, I know he didn't have a good. Man, I'm on fire. That boy can't hold a candle to me. Uh. <laughs> it's that dude's in it. Elite Steve, wacky one, bro. I can't tell. No, it's not because I lassoed one, too. <laughs> Off the got him one! There he is! I don't think that. Oh, here we go. Oh my god! Woo! We done found the nursery, son! Oh, you just think, getting all that water in my box? I ain't worried about me, don't get it in my tackle box. Hey, I caught that one on my own, Billy. You did that all by, you all by myself. Mommy, wow, I'm a big kid now. <laughs> Monster bag. There. Woo, boy, look at that. He's a monster too, folks. You're like Fort Guy Channel. The only place in the world where you can see a bass get lassoed.